I'm tired. I'm the kind of tired that's born from having two small children, a mountain of papers to grade and lesson plans to create for my six daily preps, the kind of tired that sneaks up on you after a decade in a classroom teaching. I'm thinking maybe teaching is overrated. Surely my favorite teachers never felt this way. They never had moments where they sat at their desk, closed their eyes, and prayed for the weekend. <laughs> Did they? My prayer was interrupted by a reminder email about the day's faculty meeting. I'm sure I rolled my eyes. I'm also sure that I put on my smile as I begrudgingly walked down to the auditorium to watch a video courtesy of our new principal. When I got there, I sat next to some colleagues, and I got frustrated when they lowered the lights so I couldn't even check my phone without being noticed. And then the video clip started. Tick, 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 tick. Sweet, I thought, a little sarcastically. 60 minutes circa 1990. This is going to be good. But as that video started, you know, the one where Wayne Dickey opens by saying, people, I'm not asking you to get to class on time. I'm telling you to get to class on time. <laughs> well, my attention was piqued. This was my introduction to Avid. As I watched that video full of students who became eager to reach their potential, I started to get excited. Now, I'll admit, I had some internal dialogue between my exhausted side and my starry-eyed save the world side. My exhausted side said, nothing from a 10-minute video is going to change your teaching enough to matter. But then my starry-eyed save the world side, who apparently had been sitting quiet for far too long, she stood up and in her best teacher voice, she promptly told my exhausted side to zip it. <laughs> in a matter of minutes, that video gave me the spark that I needed to get excited about the upcoming school year. I spoke with my principal and said I was interested in being an avid elective teacher. I'd later find out I was lucky enough to be the coordinator also. <laughs> Now, I will admit my first steps into the AVID community were a little bit selfish, as I was motivated to find something to make my days a little more meaningful, probably equally as much as I wanted to impact the lives of my students. And our first year with AVID, it was a tough one. I'm sure many of you can remember those growing pains, and some of you may even be living them right now figuring out how to best select students only weeks before school begins, trying to explain this, this avid phenomenon to our staff and community, and massaging the schedule to fit avid at the last minute. Well, those were the tough parts. Getting excited to teach something that we knew was going to change the lives of both ourselves and our students well, that was the powerful part. But watching our students show us the way to their success, that has been the fun part. My job as an AVID elective coach and coordinator is to be a cartographer, a map maker. I must help map the multiple ways to student success. I must carefully mark out those roadblocks and snares along the way, but I am not the navigator. I can only inspire my students to start moving toward their goals, to help them use their struggles as catalysts as they venture on toward their dreams. I need to share information with them to help them know what tools to pack for the adventure and provide them with support and encouragement as they change direction on the journey, or maybe even take a little break. AVID has given me the skills to make a better map for my students, and the passion to help them find the spark for themselves that has ignited their journey. This year, we had our first group of AVID students graduate. 
Some days it's hard to imagine. It's been nearly half a decade since they first joined Avid. Some days, however, I'll admit it felt like it'd been a little bit longer. <laughs> Their maps now show destinations like the State University of New York at Brockport, Damon College, the University of West Virginia, and the United States Marine Corps. I am incredibly proud of those young ladies and gentlemen. You see, our first AVID class is comprised of students who have nearly every excuse possible not to pick up that map and start on the difficult journey to bigger dreams. You know these students, those who have lost parents, immigrated from a war-torn nation, those who are hungry, those with families torn apart by addictions, and I know you cheer for them just as proudly as I do. As they get ready to leave us, to move on to the next phase of life, may we be sure that our students feel the pride of a community behind them. And so, may this be your year to make maps for your students to help them learn to hurdle uncertainty, to bypass excuses, and to chase the X that marks the treasure held within a successful life. Thank you.